Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by McDonald Bullion and for this video we're going to be reviewing the 2 ounce Hannibal coin which is part of the Masters at War series designed and sent by Spectres. Now for full transparency Spectres have sent me this coin for me to keep but I will provide an honest review and discuss this coin in today's video. So a big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. And if you would like to purchase this coin, I'll leave a link and description in the comments so you can go check that out. But let's move on to the review of the coin. So as you can see, it's a two ounce coin which comes in a very spectacular capsule. It's going to be a premium piece. So it's gonna be not your average Bullion Britannia or Maple. This is a fine art product this is a limited mintage and designed for those collectors especially for stackers as well so it's not going to be the cheapest thing that you can buy when it comes to silver but my gosh it is one of the most beautiful that i think that i have seen but before we get into more detail on the coin itself i have very briefly before the video i have opened the capsule ever so slightly so it makes it a little bit easier so you don't have to see me fiddling around with that but um the capsule is very very secure so we'll talk about that in just a little bit more detail shortly but the coin comes from vectors it ships from singapore and they do worldwide shipping sent by fedex it literally i think it was sent on the saturday and i think it was ready by the tuesday and i'm in the uk so it was sent very quickly from where it is so they've done a good job with the shipping definitely and you've got the two ounce hannibal coin which comes in this square box designed by specters we're going to open that up shortly and similar design there and a very lovely design to the back of the piece there you've got spectres.io 2024 and a lovely design of an elephant which was going to be one of the things that Carthage used during the time and you look like you have a Roman there who have seen better days but the coin comes encased in here I have opened it prior to this video because I was so excited to see the coin but it does come in this box very securely wrapped in bubble wrap and once you open it, you have a little message there from Spectres saying that it's not just a piece of art, but it's a promise of a unique and treasured investment. And my gosh, it is a very, very lovely coin. But we will move on to that in just a second. You've got here as well a little scan me. And also this is coin number 112. This is going to be the certificate of authenticity that comes in this coin. So let me just remove that from its casing. You've got there just where the coin would go as well, but I have taken it out. And you've got the certificate of authenticity there that comes with all the coins. And you've got the specifications, Republic of Chad 2024, 10,000 francs, face value, two ounce, three nines fine silver and a big coin, 45 millimetres in diameter. So Britannia's are 39 millimetres, just to give you a bit of a reference, antique, ultra high relief and a mintage of just 500. So a very, very small mintage number and a very beautiful coin. Let's move on to looking at the coin itself and really having a look at the beauty that comes encased in the coin. So from the coin, I opened the capsule ever so slightly. And the best way I find to open these is just to use like a little bit of a knife or something um, just to open it ever so slightly. The capsules are very, very good. They're very secure and just be careful you don't uh, you don't damage the capsules but let me just move that out the way just a second so you can get a real look of this beauty now we're going to take this out of the capsule and see what this looks like and during that time it has found a little way to get back on so from viewing this coin you can see Hannibal you've got the elephants you've got the Romans you've got the Carthage army standing behind him ready to invade Italy you've got 2024 there as well which is a really nice design the reason I wanted to take it out of its capsule is really just to show you some of the fine detail that you can see on these coins now if you can just see on there the raised effect the ultra high relief that you can find on these coins my gosh, it's uh, it's very impressive. It's really impressive what they can do with coins now, especially over the last sort of 15, 20 years. You see some absolutely stunning pieces. And this is not going to be the cheapest thing that you can buy. This is going to be one of the higher premium artistic pieces, especially in this collection. If you're planning on collecting coins like these, it's not going to be the cheapest thing to, for you to buy. But my gosh, it is a very, very lovely 
artistic piece which is really quite fine details there is not going to be a better coin in my opinion when it comes to the detail of these coins now i'm just going to show you the i suppose the obverse of the coin i want to say maybe and you've got it here and here we go this is going to be the Carthage elephants, the elephants that cross the Alps and the Romans looking like they're in a defensive position. You've got very nice detail in there. And again, you can see the raising of the high relief there as well. The spears look huge. I mean, I didn't even know that they uh, they attacked from the elephants, but I suppose they did. You know, I, I don't know a whole lot about this type of history and uh, the elephants actually picking up the Roman soldier. I don't really know if that happened. Maybe that's uh, something to uh, to commemorate and 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 bring Hannibal his victory over the Romans. But crikey, it is a very beautiful coin. You can see 10,000 francs there as well. You've got the coat of arms there, which... Uh, kind of goes over the cliff face or, or or the environment that's that's there and the Republic of Chad. And, and I know that you're going to have to place Chad and the coat of arms on there for specifications. And ultimately, it doesn't really bother me. I think the scene sets itself is a really beautiful piece and you can really get a sense of the detail, the sense of the environment and everything that's going on there. The battle, the Romans and everything, the charge of the elephants that was happening during the time and the uh, Hannibal taking Italy for for the Carthage Empire during the time. Capsule is very secure. It is a really nice capsule and I don't want to give the impression that they are easy to take off because they're absolutely not. But I did want to give you a bit of a better view because when you take the capsules off, you remove that risk of it reflecting. And I think really coins like these, you really want to see well, especially into the light as well, because it is really lovely to see this type of design and to see Hannibal in all its glory. Now, I don't have many things negative to say about this coin. The coin is absolutely beautiful. I've not seen a coin or held a coin that really has this much detail in a coin it's really a work of art the only con i have is of course it's an expensive coin now this is not going to appeal to stackers that are stacking close to the price this is an art product this is a collectible product this is those that are looking at purchasing items that are going to be low mintage and very nice pieces that you really can't find anywhere else on the market these are really really lovely coins really lovely pieces and i do think that spectre have done an absolutely fantastic job with their coins now here we go let's just get this back on and the capsule is back on and that's what it looks like you can see with my lighting and everything the reflectiveness is which is why i wanted to take it out of its capsule but they have done an absolutely exquisite job with the detail in this coins Hannibal looks absolutely fantastic. You've got Carthage, the elephants and the Romans preparing to defend Italy from Carthage. Now, I believe Carthage actually lost this war. It was the Punic Wars, actually. I think they struggled for manpower. Hannibal's victories over the Roman Empire has echoed in eternity, I'd like to say off Gladiator. I am going to give this a 10 out of 10 score. And I do not give those to coins. I don't give them to anything. I think there's always something that can be improved. But my gosh, I think this deserves it. This is absolutely exquisite. Fantastic job by them. Now, if you do want to purchase things, coins from Spectres, then I'll leave a discount code. They have sent me this full transparency. I do get to keep this, which is very kind of them for sponsoring today's video and sending me this coin to review because it's they don't have to do that. But if you would like to grab a coin from them, they ship globally and with fedex i mean this was sent i believe on the saturday and it came on the tuesday literally a few days so you've got worldwide shipping on really lovely art pieces so you can get a wide range of their coins to your doorstep in just a matter of a few days you can use my discount code which is mb that's mb20 on specter's website if you want to purchase any of their items it saves you 20 dollars. but rest assured you're buying a art piece and not the cheapest bullion value. But my gosh, it is a lovely coin. And I really don't think you'd be disappointed if you pick up, in my opinion, what is one of the most beautiful coins I have ever seen. Thank you for watching today's video. Thank you very much to Spectres. I hope you enjoyed it and take care all. Hope you have a great day.